Hey, I'm Coach Todd. Welcome to 49ers EDU Digital Playbook Review, where you'll get the inside scoop to get you ahead of the game. At 49ers EDU, we use science, technology, engineering, arts, and math to bring football to life. STEAM subjects are important to learn because they can be found everywhere. I mean it, everywhere. Very often, two or more of these subjects are working together to improve some part of our lives. And being able to apply these ideas and this information in different ways is an important part of your education. Take Coach Ryan from 49ers Prep, for example. He and his team use STEAM to help prepare for their youth development camps. They use the information from students who sign up to prepare the right amount of equipment and activities, and use research to determine the appropriate exercises and drills to improve each student's skill sets and knowledge of the game. In this lesson, I want to focus on science and math and how we can use math to help make decisions about our health, which we understand through science. If you have access to our digital playbook or a printout, we're gonna focus on page 28 in this video. So let's start with a little bit of science background. If you saw our video on nutrients, you'll know that water is an important one for our body and all life everywhere on earth. Water in its most basic form is a molecule or a group of atoms. You've heard of H2O, that's two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom. This simple way that water is built makes it really fascinating, not to mention vital for life on Earth to exist. But what does water do for us? You'll see at the bottom of page 28 that water moistens and protects our tissues and organs. It carries nutrients to cells and it regulates our body temperature. Have you ever been really hot and started to sweat? Sweat is water leaving our body and taking heat with it. As water evaporates or turns from liquid to gas, it removes heat and cools you. This is an example of matter changing states from liquid water to gas, water vapor. Of course, the solid state is ice, which is really cool too. But when that water isn't replaced, you might feel your mouth starting to dry or feel tightness in your muscles or actually start to feel sick, weak, or dizzy. Coach Ryan has a good understanding of this, so he knows how long to make his physical education activities so that everyone can get enough water during and after exercising, and be ready to take on more health and wellness exercises and development drills. Now that we understand why water is important, let's get to know how math is involved with our math terms. Math term one, formula. A formula is a mathematical statement that describes a relationship between numbers. A formula can be used to solve problems. Math term two, variable. A variable is a number that can change in a math problem, often shown as X on your math homework, but can be represented by any letter. Math term three, constant. A constant in math is a fixed number or quantity. In a formula, a constant doesn't change. With that, let's celebrate our work so far before going for the extra point. Ten. The extra point term is PEMDAS, which is more of an acronym, but these letters help you remember the order of operations when completing math problems. Start with parentheses before moving on to any exponents. Once those are taken care of, multiply or divide, whichever comes first going left to right. Finally, add or subtract. Like multiplying and dividing, do whichever one is first in the problem, again, starting from left to right. Knowing that will help you finish this page for sure. Let's get ready to complete our activity. Have page 28 ready to go. The first part is if you aren't doing any significant exercise. Just take your weight, our first variable, something that's going to change from individual to individual, and divide it by 2. That's the constant. That will stay the same for every problem. When you figure out your answer, it would be really nice if you can help your family and friends with their results too. And when everyone understands, you can all exercise together. You pick how long. If you're looking for some great football specific skills training, you can check out more of Coach Ryan by clicking on the link to Prep Starts Now. Here are some of my favorites. These are part of a series of lower body workouts to improve explosive power and balance. Now, here's how to complete your after exercise answer. Take the result from the before exercise part and transfer it to the first box in the next equation for after exercise. In the next box, Write how many minutes you exercised. Now you'll be able to follow the order of operations, PEMDAS. There's no parentheses or exponents here, so we'll have to find the first multiplication or division. 
It's like we came up on division first, where you divide your time exercised by 30. Then multiply that answer by 12. Finally, add the answer from before exercise to what you have so far. That's your result. You should be drinking that much water after exercise. This activity features a couple of math formulas that take the understanding we have of water and our need to maintain hydration and comes up with a rule that you can follow to get just the right amount of water for your body. And once you've got your own results, see if you can figure out the answers for your family and friends too. This will help you get used to entering different numbers as variables and seeing how a formula will give you a specific answer to something. Your answers may sound like a lot, but remember that one cup of water is about eight ounces. But we get water from other drinks and foods too. Most fruits have a lot of water in them. Same with fruit juices. Even milk and yogurt have a significant amount of water. So not all of this will come directly from drinking glasses of water. On average, we get about 20% of our water from food. Now imagine what 20% of your answer would be. We'll save that for another time. I hope you enjoyed learning with me. And now that you're an expert, you'll be ready to tackle formulas for your teachers and use this knowledge to complete more of our playbook. You are a mathematician and all you need to do is practice and your math skills will keep improving. And whether you choose to pursue a career in STEAM or not, I hope you do. I hope you learn something that helps you change the world. Who else do you think should know about all of this? Be sure to include others by sharing the links in the description box below. So practice what you learned and share with us by using hashtag 49ersedu or sending directly to us at edu at 49ers.com. And when you visit 49ers Prep, you can also use hashtag prep starts now to share your skills. Thank you so much for participating with me. The description box below will have links to all the ways that you can learn with us. Take care everyone and go Niners. Mm -hmm.